Okay, welcome back to a new video. Sorry, I have. I'm gonna show you how to be golden mode here, as you can clearly see. I'm teaching you how to be golden mode. You need these towers. Remember, um, you don't, you don't, you don't always need a golden minigunner or a platinum. You can keep a basic minigunner. Like I can, I will like it. Like some people. Like, I, did, I got this tactic from YouTube. It's not originally made for me. I just switched out some stuff. You know, I replaced the farm that he had with a cowboy. And it works really well. I've been grinding with this tactic because so far, I still cannot be Fallen. I'm trying to hit level 100 so I can place my golden minigunner with a pursuit. And then I'm set. So now, since I said some people, some, some people, you know, still can't solo golden... Um, I will teach you, and if I have the time to, I will teach you how to solo molten. Molten is very easy. I I think you guys can pretty much solo it. Molten is like easy. It's not that hard. You just gotta have the right towers. Like I, I think just from sniper and scouts, ma'am, you can beat beginner mode. It has to be mega. So yeah. Remember, you have to tank these first waves. It's not always just going to be you have full health all the times. Because then I wouldn't be here. That would be impossible. Like, what was this thing called? You can't lose any health. Then I would I would never be able to win a game. You have to lose at least some health. Remember, no, if you turn rich and you feel like your defense is too weak, always upgrade your cowboys. I'll just teach you the rest in the video. You can see. Sometimes you want to put his target to either first or strongest. I feel like strongest is a better option because. No, I feel like first is a better option because you lose four with first. No, you lose four with, like. You know. So f put your targets always to first. Mortars, put your targets to strongest all the way until wave 32. Until put them back to first because micromanaging is important. But so far, I'm just trying to teach you. So at the start, just place two level zero cowboys. Now they're just gonna sit there while you wait for them. You know to farm you money. Okay, you get your first mortar on wave seven. And there's a guarantee that you will always get it on wave 7. I don't know if you can't get it on wave 7. And then place buy 5 mortars. So it technically costs 2,000 bucks. Not a lot. Place down 5 mortars. Oh my gosh, that cowboy just gave a huge money bonus. Holy crap. Nice. 2 mortars? Jeez. I'm not going to skip the wave. That's stupid. Now I'm going to skip it. Place on the mortar as fast as I can. Hopefully, my cowboys can give me money. Give me money. No. That's fine. I tried to record this um, actually today because I had you know, school to deal with. And I'm also mad about the TDS update. Got delayed for another week. Like, that sucks. Yes, I think I delayed. Okay. Once you place on all your five mortars down, you want to put them at the back because your um, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna your outlaws are gonna be in the front. So It's gonna all be step by step. I might cut through the video if you don't really want to take a long time. Cause you know, this tactic takes practice and practice makes perfect. Oh my, this guy's only has two health left. Yeah, he's gonna die like right now. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Took a big old mortar to the face. Okay. 
No, you want to place down eight or nine cowboys. Your choice. I recommend go for nine, but eight is still better. I'm going to go for nine. Eight is more cost efficient, but I like nine better. Because I feel like my defenses are weak, weaker. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. This doesn't look too good. My RNG isn't saving me. You won't survive this? I will, but I won't survive the hiddens. Come on. Come on. Alright, yeah, there you go. Money's coming now. Oh, no, he goes down. Oh, no, don't die. That sucks. Like, cowboy? You get money to cowboy? If the unit doesn't die, like, you still get these... You, 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 you can still get money because Cowboy is RNG based. It's like you can still get money if, if it's still alive. It's like if there was like a giant boss on the, on the field, then you would still be getting money because it's still alive. That's why I feel like Cowboy like outplays his farm. You know, it should be higher level than farm. Okay. Why don't you all your Cowboys to level 1? So we proceed to level them all to level 3. Not level 4 because, uh, level 4 is later on. But proceed into level, up to level 3. No, level, yeah, level 3. That's what I see. Level 2. Nope, this is all coming from my head. So I, if I make a mistake, don't blame me, okay? This is all coming just from my head. I didn't write this down on the paper. I'm gonna write the the thing in the description. No, I'm gonna get one more note. If you have farms, place it in the front because a tank would throw the rocks at the farms, giving your outlaws over here more space, more time to shoot. It's really funny. You, you know, you get a laugh. It's really funny. Sometimes I just feel like if you have farms, put them over here. Cowboys you can also put over here. Cowboys don't really matter because your main defense is going to come from there. Next, you're going to let her all self for three. Simply before um, wave 19 or at wave 19 because that's the time. These mysteries are giving me so much money. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wave 17. Wave 18 or wave 19 is when you can get, um, simply, when you finish upgrading all your cowboys to level 3. Okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. They all look, like, you guys might be confusing, but I do have the Kosoda's cowboy. I just don't like using it. You know, I like the basic better. In my opinion, then wave 18 or wave 19 place down a level 3 commander. And if you are struggling with the mysteries, simply use Call of Arms. Then you're gonna place two minigunners, it doesn't have to be golden or platinum, it can be just a regular minigunner. I literally don't care, it can just be a regular minigunner. Make sure it's level 2 for DPS and hidden detection. Once that is settled, what you use your call arms automatically. As soon as it comes out, you have to use it, and then you proceedly skip the wave. Now you're gonna now on wave twenty to twenty three or twenty two, because this can be customized. You can start placing on your outlaws. Make sure they're all level zero. So then you don't have to waste a lot of money. I'm just spam level zero. Make sure not to waste the cliff space. It doesn't give you a lot of cliff space here. And if you run out of cliff space, always this cliff space right here. Also this this place. But right here is the best spot you can get right now. This is the best spot. I believe like this spot right here could cover the whole map. Skip the wave. Literally, as soon as not, as soon as you start spawn killing, that's when you skip the wave. You don't skip the wave 
for like no reason. That's stupid. Counting my outlaws, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This should be my last outlaw. Okay, I'm not upgrading all level one. So they can check on the boss's HP. He's called one and clearly skip the wave. Depending on the boss HP. Because um, if it has high HP, look, see how I killed it so fast just with Call of Harm? Let's see, yeah, check the boss HP. Once you got these all to level 1, you simply go to your cowboys and click dual wheel. So that way you don't have to worry about these cowboys anymore. Remember to skip the wave just for faster time. I know you can't get hit in wave, but I mean, like. I'm trying to practice here. I'm also practicing while teaching, so that's kind of cool. Get these all the dual wheel before at wave at wave 27 or 28. You should have them all dual wheeled. Farm should be um, level four. If you want, if you want to go extreme, you can go level five. Um, the um, I'll put the I'll put the regular and the farm one in the description. The description is going to be a long description. You should read it. As you can see, it's wave 26, which means that's when the charges come. They're not that big of a problem. Once you have like those miniguns with technically spawn kill it with the cowboys supporting. So wave 27, get your net. I believe on this wave, if it spawns in a boss, it's fine. If it doesn't spawn in a boss, you're probably most likely gonna get it on wave 28. Use call of arms now to get double the money, to get double chance for the money. Just spawn you that. Okay, once you are done upgrading all these to dual wheel, simply head over to your your boys mortars and upgrade them to level three because it's important. It is important. It is important to upgrade these guys. To oh crap, that's a lot of zombies. Make sure to also look at your defenses and use call of arms all the time. Oh my. Why did I. Okay, at least it's not the tank wave, which is good. Remember not to skip all the waves if your defense is too weak. That is really. Um, dying on purpose. I don't know. That is not smart. Once you got healthy, you have to get the commanders back here. No, if you want to be smart, put a commander in the middle there. I just like putting these on the side. Skip the wave because it's taking too long. And you should be done with the wave by now. If you're not, just use call of arms. Now you want to update these guys to level 2, the first one is level 2, and then simply head your way over. You might um, either defeat the tank or not, but remember, as soon as the tank comes in, you click this one, you click the one to support every single one, while also trying to upgrade the outlaws. Okay, as soon as it comes out, use call points here, use call points here. It should be getting shredded now. And you want to upgrade your health loss. If it, if it has 2,000 health, which means you are safe skipping. If it doesn't, which means you're struggling and you did something wrong. Why oh that hurt this. I don't like it. Oh my, that one hurt. I think. Now, I believe next is to upgrade these motors. I remember if you're on mobile, you might accidentally uh, clip something else. Oh my gosh. Remember not to skip this wave. This wave is not for skipping. Unless you feel the tank pretty fast, then you're good with skipping. But other than that, skipping is not that good. So if you head over to your mortars and try to mark them. Oh my. And remember, you have to deal with the tank. 
tank is never gonna go out, okay? It's got to be a tank. So call horns. Call horns. Call horns before you spend your towers. Tank should be getting shredded. Make sure all your models are level 4 and super so maxing. Before wave 23. Skipping waves is only really important for extra money. Other than that, if you're gonna die and you skip the wave, that's even worse. Like if you if you like this some boss over here, start spamming minigunners if you have enough. Because spamming something else will not be good. There's no tank this way, so you can just chill relax. Match your mortar safely, peacefully. Now, here's the thing. Sell a cowboy. Place two mini runners. Those have to be going. Like what I did right now, you can do it the opposite way. You can put two mini runners and then upgrade them all to make sure they all have bandolas. And simply start to max with mini runners and sell them with two cowboys and put some mini runners out and simply max them. Make sure to max them one by one, not regularly. Boomer comes in. Make, oh, I, see, I took too long to use call horns. Boomer will just stun all my power. Skip the wave. It's gonna auto skip you for 35, or that's what happens to me. Okay. Boomer is gone. Stun towers. Ooh, we got lucky in our command when we got some. Are you sure I need to be where you should be? Because I think it's so good. Okay, summer boss comes. So to cowboy. Um, put cowboys and try to max them. It doesn't have to be golden. It just has to be regular. Regular new. Normal is for new game. Cost of people and new game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is there like a tank there? Cause I think I saw a tank. I don't know, I don't have that. So, some of the boss wave. Do not panic. You are fine only if you remember to micro. Well, not micro. Chain. The call line. Um, by wave 37, which will match this one. Commander right here. Once this some of the boss dies. Once it dies. Skip the wave once it has 2,000 health. Can this, that's a guarantee it's going to die. They are all. Can seriously um, start to sell your cowboys? Um, sell these front cowboys in the first time. Not holding any letters. Hold on, you can do that in the middle of the field. And check them out. So, can we get a cost of 20 to them? 10 or 20 to them, I don't know. Remember to always keep this place will trick you and spawn a lot of goldens, but then it will really spawn you with crap. Oh, and I accidentally used a horn at the wrong time. They're fine. Okay. If you, this is an optional wave. You can just sit here and chill. I want to sell these at wave 38. I can slip away peacefully now because there's nothing in the sun calls coming. And don't do don't skip the wave for no reason as I already told you. This sun boss is not all too bad. These three bosses don't have a lot of health, so they will die quicker. Wave 38, so these cowboys are facing the team not to you. No DPS, but if you want, you can wait for it to give you ADK and burn shit down the way. Come on, let's do that. I'm not gonna skip away here, but you can if you want to. This wave is super important. You should keep an eye out. Max these commanders as fast as possible. Remember to kill this tank before it stuns your power. Tanks did stun my towers, but it's gonna die soon. Wave 39, listen carefully. Once, the, once, okay, once this tank is full, we'll be a summer boss, right? Once this 
What is that by star? You, you have to sell the view, my dude. Can I just get the light so you can get extra money? Because you should be like me, I'm like, I'm not sticking in the sky. Sell the money. Okay. I have like a hundred K. Counting to so the mistake. Okay, the rest of the money you do to upgrade with the bigger than one. Star Lord, if you want to, you should be able to do more. Keep chaining. You don't want these guardians to go nowhere. And safely upgrade the first two to work as well. You can upgrade the rest of the four to work as well for your defense. That's on you. Remember, this still have to be in the link in the description. Okay. Come here! Here is a solo grind tactic made by not me. I ripped it so have these towers. Pick harbor the same map that you pick. Um do the way 29 try watch a video. And you that's how I got my first golden tip. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.